Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Is one required to stand while reciting Bircha Sashachar, the morning blessings? So you may have noticed that while many people stand while saying Bircha Sashachar, others sit. And the question is, what is the proper thing to do? What is the halachic directive? Or is it up to each person's choice to decide? So regarding the discussion of standing for blessings in general, we find a variety of approaches in the Paiskim, and the matter is not unanimously understood, with a single approach of for which blessings you must stand and for which you must sit. The al Rebbe in chapter 8, halacha 2 through 3, when he begins discussing the blessing of birchas hatzitzis, of tzitzis that is made prior to putting them on, he gives us the following rule based on previous Paiskim, such as the Magan Avram, the Beis Yosef, and others. The rule is as follows. Blessings that are said over matters that are commands, mitzvahs, then you have to stand for the bracha. So he says, for example, tzitzis is a command, so you have to stand when you say the bracha over tzitzis. Tfilin is a command, so you have to stand when you say the bracha over tfilin. The only exception, he says, based on the Magan Avram, are those commands which are voluntary, such as, I don't have to eat bread and do a fresh I can choose to eat vegetables. So since I'm choosing to eat bread, then even though once I choose to eat bread, I must separate challah with a blessing, I don't have to stand for the blessing. And so too with shechita and trumas and maestris and other cases of the like. Nonetheless, the approach of the al Rebbe, the Beis Yais of the Magan Avram, and others is all that... If the mitzvah is obligatory, you must stand. However, other place can take a different approach and learn that perhaps you only have to stand for those mitzvahs which also must be performed standing. But those mitzvahs that can be performed sitting, you are likewise allowed to sit when you say the bracha. So suggest the pre in 432 Mishpah says of 3, the Maruk Tzia in Shuvah 8, and other Paiskim. Practically, getting back to our discussion of Birchas HaShachar, it's understood that it's only obligatory to stand for blessings which are done on mitzvahs that are obligations. However, blessings of praise, which is birchaz shachar, you would not have to stand for. As it's not a brach of Asher Kedishan said on a mitzvah, and so explicitly rules the Prime Gadim in two different places, that you do not have to stand for, for, for birchas, hashvach, blessings of praise to Hashem, such as birchaz shachar, and you are allowed to sit. And so rule other achreinim. However, the Siddur Yaivitz, the Yaivitz in the Siddur writes that the, the following is the rule that you should know, that is his wording, that blessings of praise should be said standing. It seems that although he agrees we don't find a precedent to obligate standing for blessings of praise, nonetheless it is a good directive to follow and a good thing to do when you're praising Hashem, to stand for the bracha. So based on all this, the bottom line letter of the law is as follows. The parts of Birchas Sashacha that involve blessings said on obligatory mitzvahs, which are Al Natilas Yadaim sit upon washing hands and Birchas Atayra upon learning Taira, that must be said standing, as that is not a blessing of praise, but a blessing of a command. However, the remaining brachas of Birchas Sashacha from the letter of the law may all be said sitting, although it is a good, praiseworthy thing to stand while saying them. Practically, this is the minig of Ashkenazi jury to say all the morning brachas standing from beginning to end, following the directive of the Yaivitz and so should be done by everyone of Ashkenazi jury, unless they are sick and unable to stand in which they may sit. However, the custom of Sephardic jury is to specifically say the morning bracha sitting in order to increase in concentration. So writes Kafa Chaim Falaji and Ravad Yosef in Yechavadas. Seemingly, however, even they too would agree that for birchas hatoiro and at least Anatias Yadayim on washing, that must be said standing following the rule of the base Yosef in chapter 8. So to summarize, birchas hashachar is said standing by Ashkenazim, is said sitting by Sephardim. And in a time of need, even an Ashkenazim may sit for Birchas HaShachar with exception to the Brach of Valentilas Yadayim and Birchas Atayr for which he is to stand. Thank you for listening to ShulhanArcharav.com. Our free services of making Torah knowledge available to the public depends on donors like you. Please help us continue our work for making even a small contribution at shuhanarcharav.com under the daily halacha dedication section or in the subscription page. Also, check out our online courses and many safarim available for purchase that will both enhance your Torah knowledge and help support our work.